Now, we are packed up and ready for summer travel. However, there is a serious problem with the bags that we are wearing. Here to explain exactly what the problem is, Sasha Hamid, a chiropractor with a Byword Chiropractic Clinic. You're right around the corner. We are, yes. Perfect. What's the address? We're at 333 Cumberland at the corner of Cumberland and York. Okay, and ironically, you are here today to help prevent people from visiting the clinic this <laughs> today. Yes, I want everyone to get away on vacation this summer safely and happily. And some of the issues that uh, we do see of people coming back from vacation are some injuries from lifting their luggage or okay. also traveling with too heavy or uh, incorrect techniques in lifting luggage when they're away. Okay, so let's start with the backpack that I've got on. What are the problems that you see here? First of all, it's a great backpack. Mm -hmm. It's a synthetic material. It's lightweight. It's not going to get too heavy if it gets wet. It's got padded straps, tons of pockets, mm -hmm. but really it's not on your back correctly. It's a, the straps are a bit too long and you can feel that the, the backpack itself is a little low. Right. So rule of thumb when you're carrying a backpack, you want the, the, the bulk of the pack to be at your center of gravity. So, your back. Yeah, exactly. So make backpack. the straps a little tighter. <laughs> okay. We're going to put them right down here. All right. Make those a little tighter. And when you have it up closer, does that feel a bit more comfortable? Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you're going on prolonged journeys, most packs do have belt weight, belt straps. Mm -hmm. And you can strap those in around like that. And the reason why you'd want to, to do up the front there? It's going to redistribute the weight actually around your hips. Okay. So the 10 to 15 percent of that pack will be redistributed around your hips and not so much on your neck and shoulders. And you mentioned the importance of synthetic material just yes. a moment ago. Why does that come into play? What does leather feel like when it gets wet? Yes, good point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty heavy. So the issue with your bag. So I see this all the time. People c carrying their gym bags, their travel bags. This bag I just threw on, but the again, keeping with that, that rule that I was telling you about, mm -hmm. It's a little too low on my hips. I want to shorten the strap, which is a nice wide strap in this case. Is, is wider better? Wider is better, yeah, because a really thin, skinny strap, it's going to cut into your shoulders. It can do some nerve damage and also damage to your tissues in your neck and shoulders. Okay. So you want this, again, up higher, right up close to your center of gravity. Again, it's a synthetic material, multi-pockets. I can redistribute the weight maximally as I can. Mm -hmm. And if you do want to do one over the shoulder, yes, that's great. That's a but you also want to make sure that you switch it up throughout your travels. So it's not always weighing down right. on the one side. Now, if I were debating between a backpack and a shoulder bag, is there a better choice, in your opinion? Um, if I'm doing business and I have a laptop or something, I might go with this. Yes. If I'm going for myself, you know, I know I'll be traveling in a few weeks, I'm going to take my backpack for sure, mm -hmm. because on longer voyages, and also when I'm carrying my suitcase or pulling my suitcase, this isn't in the way to throw me off. Right. Hands-free backpack is, uh, is very handy. Okay, so uh, when lifting uh, luggage and ultimately selecting your piece, what should you be keeping? in mind. Okay, so my own personal thing is I always pick a bright color that no one else has. Now that's not a that's not a back safety tip. It doesn't <laughs> get lost. But you also again synthetic material. Yeah. You want to keep uh, in mind of the, the luggage restrictions we do have. Mm -hmm. Our rule is no more than ten for ten or fifteen percent of your body weight for carry on. Mm -hmm. Now I know the maximum is twenty two pounds per item, but ten to fifteen percent of your body weight will keep things nice and light. Mm -hmm. Synthetic again and you want to try and pack your, your items in as many pockets as you can. And again take what you need, not mm -hmm. necessarily what you you want. Uh, I have a hard time with that one. Are great and also being able to wheel it with you as opposed to carrying it. So invest in a good key pieces. Okay. They don't have to be expensive, mm -hmm. but at least be somewhat ergonomically friendly. Okay, perfect. And uh, really quickly before we go, when I'm picking that piece up to put it on uh, the conveyor belt, is there something I should keep yeah, in mind? You want to make sure that you're always facing your item. You mm -hmm. want to get down with your knees. Lift up onto one surface first, perhaps the cart, and then onto the conveyor belt if you need to. Not one fluid motion. Not up twisting, and on. but turning with the whole body. You got, got it. Sasha, thank you very much. Oh, it was a pleasure Sarah. to meet you. Uh, what website should people go to if they're looking for more information? Yourback-health.com is our new website for the Ontario Chiropractic Association going through this whole uh, information pamphlet right. and all kinds of other topics. And even if you're not traveling this summer, we see a lot of people walking to and from work with a backpack or a shoulder bag, so these are some great tips to keep in mind uh, during your morning and, I suppose, evening commute. Of course.